Oh, thank the Lord for so much. Coming back once again, hope and pray everybody's doing well. Which gate are you trying to go through? Let me say that a little bit louder. Which gate are you trying to go through? Jesus spoke about to himself. And the question was asked, will more people go to heaven or they're just not going to see God at all? Well, I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm going to tell you what the word of God says. See, I'm not here to do no hooping and hollering and spitting in the microphone. I'm here to get down to business. Because I want them to have an ear, let them hear. And those that don't want to hear, oh well, I pray that they start listening to somebody. Because we're dealing with some tough things in life. And times are going to get worse and worse before they get better. Now, let's get into this for a moment. Jesus in the book of Matthew, chapter 7. I believe it's verses 13 and 14. And it says, enter by the narrow gate. Notice it said narrow. Because it said, for the gate is wide. And the way is easy that leads to, not heaven, destruction. And those who enter by it are many. Now let's look at that real slow. It says, enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide. And the way is easy. That leads to destruction. And those who enter it is many in there. Now, when you look at that one right there just by itself, it talks about this wide gate. How pretty it looks, how convincing it looks. It's so full with many people because they think they're on their way to heaven, but they really on their way to destruction. And they really believe that they can get you in. See, this is why I'm always careful when I look at what a crowd is doing. And I like to paint a picture on this gate because I picture, I picture in my spiritual mind about this big old pretty looking gate that's full of a whole lot of people like they're going in a concert and it's just huge. But it says there's many in this gate. And anyone who enter that gate is headed for destruction. Now, let's move on to the next one. For the gate is narrow. So this is the gate you want to see right here. For the gate is narrow and the way is not easy. The way is hard that leads to life, which meaning eternal life. And those who enter this gate, Jesus said, is few. So that answers your question right there. He said, for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. That gate right there, he's speaking about is heaven. And it don't take a rocket scientist to understand what Jesus is saying right here. It don't take a degree to understand what, talk about what Jesus is saying right here. See, this passage tells us that only those who receive Jesus and who believe in him are given the right to become children of God, just like the book of John told us. Having the gift of eternal life comes through Jesus. To all those who believe, he also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, what, comes to the Father except through me. He said that in John also. See, you can't go to Christ through Buddha, Islam, all your false gods that you are worshiping. See, one thing about a statue, those gods, a lot of people say, it can fall over and break over. But the God that I serve can't die. He is eternal. And a lot of people are putting their trust in man. They're putting their trust in their job. They're putting their trust and asking all these questions except coming to the Father. That's why I'm glad I serve a true and faithful God, a God that is a God of judgment, a God that never left me nor forsake me. You got to get serious with your life. He said few will be in heaven. Few. Now, you can keep going down your own little path. See, that's why we talk about the narrow way. It's narrow. And see, the path is already laid out for us. If we walk straight, we'll make it. But see, a lot of people are jumping off the straight road that God has made for them. They want to jump over here and see what the world is doing. They want to jump over there and see what their friends doing. And when you jump off the road that, oh, hallelujah, I'm going to teach this thing. When you jump off of the road that God has provided for you, it's going to be hard to get back on. Because once you get caught up doing worldly things, being like your old self, because you can't seem to let it go, 
because you feel like you're not fitting in. I'm losing my friend. Well, you're going to have to lose. That's why he said, whosoever shall save his life shall lose his life. So when you think about these two gates in Matthew, they are the, the entrance to two different ways. The wide gate leads to the broad way, or road, some might say. But that small, narrow gate leads to the way that is narrow. That's why he said it's going to be hard to get into heaven. Few. And that's sad that Jesus had to say, few will be there. See, you got to be careful who you're hanging around. You got to lose those friends that don't mean nothing for you anyway. Try not to make this video too long, but I'm letting the Holy Spirit use me. It's about almost 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm wired up. Y'all just bear with me with my voice because I lost it yesterday. But it says the narrow way is the hard way, the demanding way. It is the way of recognizing that you cannot save yourself. And you must and only must depend on Jesus Christ alone to save you. Mm. So a lot of people think they're already saved and not made it into heaven. They think because, well, I'll go to church every Sunday. I don't have made it in. I read my Bible. You read it, but you ain't never lived it. Oh, I've been prophesying. I've been teaching. I've been preaching. Have you been doing it in your own name? Mm. When you think about this word of God, it ain't no joke. You have to live it. I don't care how much of the words you know. If you don't live it, what good is knowing it? The Bible teaches us about that. See, many will seek to enter in that now the door, which is heaven, the door of salvation. Listen to what I said. Many will seek to enter that now the door, the door of salvation, but they're not going to be able to. They're not going to be able to. They are unwilling to trust and rely on Jesus alone. They are unwilling to pay the price. See, it costs too much for them to give up the world. Uh-oh. Let me say that again. It costs too much for them to give up the world. That's what they make it seem like now. God gate is a gate through which one cannot carry the baggage of sin. Why you say that? Because sin won't play no part of heaven. He told us that how many times? The way of Christ is the way of the cross. And the way of the cross is the way of self-denial. You got to deny yourself. Jesus said, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Too many people laying their cross down. Let me say this again. For whomsoever save his life will lose his life. Mm. But whosoever lose his life for my sake will save it. That's St. Luke. The Lord, I already know, it's going to be a whole lot of people choose that wide gate and the broad way which leads to destruction. And for the Lord to say once again, only few will choose the narrow gate. That's what he was saying. It's just going to be a few. Hmm. There ain't no doubt in my mind, people. It's going to be a whole lot of people not going to see that. Hmm. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the question is, which gate are you trying to go through? Which gate are you trying to go through? If you follow the people in that wide gate, you're in destruction. You're headed for destruction. So you should want to follow Christ. You should want to strive to enter through the narrow door. That narrow path. Wide gate. Be careful. Once again, he said narrow. The narrow way is the hard way. People, he never said it was going to be easy. So which gate are you trying to go through? Because you got to stand for God. Big shout out to everybody. I know this is not a feel good sermon, but oh well. Like I said, I'm not here to hoop and holler and spit through microphones and, and, and get you for your money. I'm going to tell you about salvation. You better make sure you're going through that right gate. Because all the money you got ain't going to buy your way into heaven. I'm sorry. It ain't about how good your clothes look. It ain't about how big your house is. You can have all that stuff. That's beautiful. But if you don't have God first, and if you are not seeking the Lord, you're not following Christ, and you don't want no part of Christ, 
well, you're going to miss it. God bless you. God keep you. Which gate are you trying to go through?